Hey Stampers, it's Debbie with Stamp It With Debbie and today I'm coming to you with week two of week, uh, sorry, eight weeks of Halloween and today I'm bringing you this fun treat holder that holds pixie sticks or another tall maybe candy sticks or something and I'm also using the Cauldron Bubble stamp set that's new in the holiday catalog from Stampin' Up! along with the Cauldron Framelits and all of this can be found on page 49 in the new holiday catalog that recently came out and this is the whole product suite the bundle is called cauldron bubble and if you don't have a catalog you can shop online you can find all these products that are in this catalog at my store at stamp it with debbie dot stampin up dot net it also has a coordinating designer series paper which we're going to be using today so let's get started making our second treat in the series. So I'm just gonna set that aside. The first thing that you need is a piece of paper. And today, this one I used a piece of black cardstock. And this one I'm going to just use a piece of the designer paper. That is going to be cut at five inches tall by four and a half inches, I'm sorry, four and a quarter inches wide. Then you also need a piece for the band around the middle. And that is cut at two and a quarter by five and a half. And then I just have a couple pieces that I cut from the cauldron bubble framelits and I'll show you that as soon as we get to that point. So the first thing that we want to do is turn our piece of um, designer paper over and we need to put a strong adhesive on here. So I'm using the tear and tape. And then I would also put it along this edge too because we're going to seal up the bottom. And so we just need to remove the backing to that for, for both pieces. So you're going to form kind of a backwards L. You're going to kind of roll this around and get it kind of lined up at the top the best you can. Make sure that your adhesive is actually um, touching the other side of the adhesive otherwise your treats will stick in stick to it on the other side so it's a little sticky because you have adhesive at the bottom and at the top but there we go all right and then at the bottom all you need to do is because there's adhesive on both sides because we put it down there is squeeze it together kind of like a sour cream container and then we have our container made then what we need to do is take this piece and we're, we need to put some more tape on there. So I'm going to again use the tear and tape. You could use another strong adhesive. And I'm going to put it on the end and in the middle. Just so I get a good stick all the way around. We're going to take the backing off. And we're going to start in the middle and kind of make sure that that piece that we put in the middle there is nice and secure and bring this around to the back and bring this piece around and just make sure that your two edges line up. They may not be perfect, but that's okay. Okay, and then just make sure that that edge is sealed very tightly there. So now we have the container made. The next thing that we want to do is we'll create a bow and I'm using this new ribbon from the catalog and this is the, sorry I have to look because it's brand new, glittered organdy ribbon. I hope you can see all the sparkles in it. I'm just going to create a bow to put up on the top and then we're going to attach that. Just give it a little extra sparkle. And I like to cut at an angle just to make it look a little cleaner and neater. And I'm going to use my glue dots. Pick one of those up there, stick it up on top. Okay, I said that I had cut a couple things out of the designer paper and these are a couple of the things that I use the framelits for out of the designer paper. 
So the stamp set has this also. I'll show you real quick. You could stamp them and then cut them out with the framelits, but the designer paper that coordinates also has it. So either way, you can get the same look. And then I'm also using a bat from that same holiday catalog. And that bat is actually on the next page over. It's a bat punch and it's on page 51. It's the punch is here and it coordinates with this stamp set here. It says no tricks, just treats. So that's a super cute stamp set as well. I need to get my greeting. So I have just a little scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. It's cut at three quarters of an inch and it's probably about maybe an inch and a quarter long. I'm gonna use my Memento Black Ink. And I'm going to try and do it straight since that's pretty good and so now I'm going to adhere this to the I forgot to bring my regular snail adhesive so today I'm going to use the tear and tape but you could use regular snail adhesive for this part I would just recommend the snail for the other um, putting the box together because you need it to go together very strongly so I just put a piece of tear and tape on the witch hat and then I'm going to use some of the mini dimensionals for the back of the cat. Just going to put a couple on here, one at the top and one at the bottom. And we'll put him right there. And then I am going to go ahead and put the bat on too. And I'm going to do that with um, a Stampin' Dot. So there you go. There's your treat holder. And as I said, you can put some pixie sticks inside or you could use some of the hard candy sticks, anything that's a little bit tall. If you wanted to put something shorter, all you would need to do is change the measurement, the height of the five and a half, or sorry, the five down to wherever you would want it to be. So if you want a candy bar to stick out, just make it a little bit shorter and you can create the same effect. So there are two treats for week two of the eight weeks of Halloween. I hope that you have enjoyed this project and you'll stop back again next week. I'm so thankful that you stopped by today and I will see you again soon.